1989, Paul Thomas co-wrote and directed the Joey Silvera vehicle, Torrid. <laughs> What's up, everyone? How you doing? I'm Jason from Barefoot. This is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. Today, we're going to look at Torrid. This is a midweek drop. We're re-releasing one of our oldies, but goodies. That's a saying, right? Oh, I should have said, hey, I'm Jason from Barefoot. Okay, I already said, Joey Silvera is our lead. His best friend is played by Rick Savage. Not a lot of people in this movie. The crew list, not the crew list, the cast list, is like seven people. Barbara Dare, Summer Rose, April West. Everyone does an awesome job very actory maybe it's because it's directed by an actor very actory we just did okay this is this is kind of man's search for meaning we have a recent divorcee who's floundering a couple days ago we just did mascara which was a woman's search for meaning now it's the flip side of the coin Let's see how Joey's doing. A lot of the other ones didn't have intros. It was only a couple seconds long, but this one had an intro saying that, hey, this was a request and I don't know for who. So, huh, I'm really on top of my game. Let's watch this. I will be at the end speaking a little bit more as well. This motion picture is called Torrid, a viewer request. I cannot remember who suggested this. Anyways, this is for one of y'all. It's for all of you, but because of one of you, I hope you enjoy it. Let's watch. choice. <laughs> you know, this isn't exactly the purpose I have in mind for this exercise. It's really not a good business. We'll decide what we're going to do with our new muscle. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, man. Alright. You guys are both still certifiably insane. And we'll see you next week. It's okay, Kate's mostly doing two things anyway. She's scared of more boys. Hey, Brian! <laughs> Jan, Brian, this is Ricky and Kay. Hi, Jan hi. is the head of construction, and she's the true love of my life. Brian's my friend in need. In need of what? You name it. Chief help, he's working on the pool. When's the club picking up that full pill? Well, we're going to have them all this here in a few days, okay. and the pool and the jacuzzi are going to take a few weeks. Cool. But as you can see, we don't exactly have a full board construction crew yet, unless you want to help. <laughs> sure. Hey, babe. Cute, man, real cute. <laughs> so, Brian, do you think I should trust this fruit alone all day with girls that look like that? Uh, I'll tell you what, the girls that come to Vinny for a workout cannot light a candle for those two. Ricky and Kay. Oh, you too. Don't worry, babe. I only have eyes for you In here. A <laughs> hey, maybe those two are the answer to your post divorce blues. Nah, I don't think so. You know, besides, I'm enjoying being on my own right now. Don't worry, Brian, you'll bounce back. Yeah, right. No, the divorce took me every penny I had. I couldn't afford a date if I wanted to. Wait, I want to thank you guys a lot for letting me crash you right now. Hey, that's what pals are for. Hey, besides, if Jan ever comes to her senses and throws me out, I'll let you return a favor. Well, you keep eating all that garlic and she's gone. <laughs> Stop and go on our dishes, stuff. Yeah, right. What am I going to do? Ask him to dance? 
Well, I don't know what you're going to do, but then do something quick, then leaving. So, Brian, you never told us what happened to those girls you took off after. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I followed them. They did a couple turns, and um, I lost them. Oh, well, there are plenty of other girls out there. Not like that one. And yeah, she made quite an impression on you, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she certainly did. So, Brian. Would you be interested in letting me introduce you to one of my girlfriends? I think I know somebody that you get along with you just great. Yeah, well, you know, Janet, I appreciate that. <laughs> but right now, you know, I have my own problems, and I have one thing in my mind, and it's just to get, you know, financially back in my feet, that's all. Sure, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'll clean up. Okay, okay. Your heart. What you doing here? Well, I told she can hang out until the plate's open. She said if she finds it kind of peaceful. Go ahead, make your move. I got work to do, man. Don't you shot for your own good. Hold this. Hi. Hi. Are you here for a workout? No, I thought I'd take in some sun and sun. I thought I'd wait till he finishes completely before yeah. I You here to see somebody? 
Maybe you shouldn't try so hard. What? But when you're trying to meet someone new, you don't just fill the air with all this wishy-washy silly talk. I get nervous. And, uh, there's just something to say. Well, you know, there's other ways of communication. What's that smell? It smells like cherry. Yeah. It's candy. Got any more? It's the last piece. Spit it out. I want it. I love cherry. Want to go on an adventure? Where? Come on, if I told you that wouldn't be an adventure, would it? No. Come on. Hi. Hi. Look good? Thank you. Look at yourself. Good luck. <laughs> You seem, uh, you seem really relaxed about all this. Or what? Me and you and silence. Uh, hey, Vinny, you're getting lazy. Well, I thought you were missing an action. Still in. Working two jobs is going to kill you, buddy. If you're trying to save dough for it, can't be worth it. Uh, I haven't seen a penny. That's not possible. You've been doing double ship for two weeks now. You must be loaded by now. I'm crazy. I'm, I'm crazy. Well, this is going to make you a little crazier. I went out to the garage today where your stuff was stored. I noticed your TV was gone. Before calling the cops, I figured I'd better check with you. They weren't stolen. I, I hacked them. Why'd you do that, Brian? Uh, for the same reason that I, that I hocked my watch and my stereo and I'm driving my car around with a for sale sign on it. I, I have financial problems. You know, you've heard of up to years in debt, pal. I'm drowning in red ink. Every penny I had took every penny Jan had just to get this fancy little pool and spa together. I got loans that would choke a horse. I figured I had to go first class to get these high rollers. I guess that means no. Brilliant deduction. That wasn't so bad now, was it, Brian? I mean, hey, you don't have to get so upset. I mean, we just thought that, you know, you'd have to... You just thought nothing. Look, I know when I'm in too deep. You won't be seeing me around here no more. Brian, I'm starting to feel attached here. You're really making me Don't feel, feel guilty. Nothing. Don't feel a thing, all right? I can feel enough for both of us. Oh, my God. I did it. I bailed him out like you said. I don't know when you're going to see him again. He was pretty upset. No, I'm not coming right home. I think you need to take some time and decide which direction you're going. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, man. Listen, man, there's really not anything else to do around here, so uh, I think I'm going to take off. Great idea. Do a good job. Good Thanks work. Thanks a lot. Listen, uh, when is this place going to open officially? Officially Monday. All right, man. Drop by. See you know. I say, isn't it? Sitting at home. I'm wondering what's down there. I don't afraid to. Where did I see here? I was afraid that you wouldn't be here.
Really? Yeah. I missed you. Thanks for bailing me off. <laughs> So what did you think? I liked it. It's different. This is in more of an oddball category, which I, I don't I don't mind. Uh, I actually have always drawn toward the oddball stuff. And this one is working on another level. Good job, Paul Thomas. He's not in it. We know him for being in front of the camera. He directed it and he co-wrote it with Mark Cushman. We love Mark here. He's written a lot of cool things. And I like seeing him partner up with the director. This is hard to find. I couldn't find the adult version of this. I mean, a year ago, I was working on it. And now, today, I can't find it. I went to three different websites. All have the exact same synopsis, just like a bot. Just copy and pasted it. One, IMDb, no runtime. Another one, I can't think of what, question mark, <laughs> literally. And then another one, 90 minutes, which I'm suspect of that because if you got the most reputable not stating, and then you have another saying question mark, and then the only one I can find is 90. That's, that's the trite, most un unoriginal runtime you could possibly be. That's what I mean, at least it used to be. That's what Hollywood would go for. 90 minutes, that's a feature length film, 90 minutes. So I don't know. Ours is 13 and a half. 13 and a half minutes of floundering. Joey Silvera just got divorced, but he's helping his friends out. He's chipping in. Everyone's trying to make this Zen paradise spa workout room. But I like this, I like this. He is He's trying to figure some things out. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, we got a, a big original one planned for you. We got a couple requests coming up. Oh, wait. This was a request. Uh, this probably already happened in the lineage of this video you're watching now. But this had an intro. A lot of the other ones didn't have intros. It was only a couple seconds long. But this one had an intro saying that, hey, this was a request and I don't know for who. So, huh really on top of my game but we do have some good requests coming up i look forward to it we have a couple cool new originals like the whole enough the whole next month is planned for sunday 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 monster truck rally hey uh quick reminder guys quick reminder guys we do have a paypal button one person has donated which that's awesome thank you very much but if you want to join those thank yous i'll give you a big time shout out or I'll leave it in the dust and you're just a silent partner. But only if you like what we do. If you don't, then pfft, no biggie. I'll see you guys soon.